Now, the second phrase of the rhythm progression starts with an E power chord. But I'm playing the power chord in seventh position, using the first finger, third and fourth, and then using open strings. Now, when I'm changing from chord to chord, I'm going to follow the same chord progression, but I'm going to let the open strings continue to ring out, and it gives you a really cool sound. Check it out. So I'm playing the E chord, and then move my hand up to G, that's at the 10th fret. Now I play exactly the same chord, still let the open strings ring. When you play it slowly, you hear how interesting those combinations are. You wouldn't think of those in a chord down here, but up here, it's easy to play, it sounds great. Move my hand down to the 5th fret for D. and then down into open position for A. Now again, the second time through that, that uh, pattern, I vary my right hand, but my left hand stays exactly the same. So the first time through, I'm going... That's my picking pattern. Second time through, just a little bit more aggressive. Now the key ingredient in all these patterns is getting your, your picking hand to be loose and relaxed. If you can keep that steady up and down motion, it'll keep the groove feeling really good while your left hand does most of the work.